Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sins. From earthbound passions set me free, and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me, amid the battle strife. In all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray. Through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart. Within my house, I will not set before my eyes, whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked, they shall not be my friends. The false hearted must keep far away, the wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbour in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection, shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land. Uprooting from the city of the Lord, all who do evil. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, the end of the ages. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and worthy of praise, and your name is glorified forever. You are just in all that you have done to us, for we have sinned, and lawlessly departed from you, and have sinned in all things. For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly, and do not break your covenant. Do not withdraw your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham your beloved, and for the sake of Isaac your servant, and Israel your holy one, to whom you promised to make their descendants as many as the stars of heaven, and as the sand on the shore of the sea. For we, O Lord, have become fewer than any nation, and are brought low this day in all the world, because of our sins. And at this time there is no prince or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you or to find mercy. 
yet with a contrite heart and a humble spirit, may we be accepted, as though it were with burnt offerings of rams and bulls, and with tens of thousands of fat lambs. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight this day, and may we wholly follow you, for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. And now with all our heart we follow you, we fear you, and seek your face. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my strong, oh, my saviour, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings round the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To O God will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string tar. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Come back to me with all your heart, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken, not your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters and from the evil one. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. The man who healed me told me, Take up your bed and go in peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. In the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would praise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled. 
and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The man who healed me told me, Take up your bed and go in peace. Let us pray to God the Father, who gave his own Son, the Word made flesh, to be our bread of life. May the message of Christ in all its richness live in our hearts. Father, may we hear your voice this Lent and pass with Christ from death to life. May we celebrate his Easter feast with great joy and love. May the message of Christ in all its richness live in our hearts. Teach us to live by your Spirit, and help us to bring faith to those who doubt. May the message of Christ in all its richness live in our hearts. May the knowledge of Christ penetrate our minds and our hearts. May it find expression in all our ways of living. May the message of Christ in all its richness live in our hearts. Purify your church in these days of salvation. Make her the living witness of your presence in the world. May the message of Christ in all its richness live in our hearts. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. By our Lenten prayer and observance, Lord, prepare our hearts to welcome the mystery of Easter and to proclaim the good news of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.